It's time for Ryan's Roses. Here we go. If it's a public service, if there's an issue in your world, you can't sort it out, come to us and we'll try our best. And we're going to do Ryan's Roses. It's time. Dear Ryan and Sissini, on this Valentine's Day, we do a Ryan's Roses. It's almost counterintuitive. Like we shouldn't do it? I think so. I mean, it's yeah. Valentine's Day. We should be celebrating love. I'm with you, Should man. we skip it? Well, let's see. Whitney, how bad do you need this? I need it so bad. I need help. I need everything. All right. Hold on one second. What do you think? Mm. Maybe we can find her a nice poem instead. That's a so poem? boring and cheesy. Now let's do it. Mm. All right. So she says, Dear Ryan and Sissy, my husband has been very quiet lately. I find that these things that he does take away more time than they should. For instance, if he goes into the other room to grab something, he's gone for like 10 minutes. When he goes to the bathroom, it's like 15 minutes. Well, I mean, it could be. Well, that's standard. Could be a problem. <laughs> I was um, in there for 30 minutes sometimes. When I went to check his phone, I realized he changed his password. Something's going on. That's, I think he's cheating on me. Yeah. So, Whitney, thanks for holding on. So you think because he's going away for these extended periods of time, he's talking to somebody on his phone or texting someone? I know he is. I even checked his phone, and he had changed his password, which he never does. So I, I really do believe he's like cheating So you had his old password? You had access to his phone? Of course. We've been married for 23 years. I know everything about this guy. Mm-hmm. Like, of course I have a and, and is this the first time in your 23 years of marriage you've thought he's cheating? Yes, it really is. And so I really need to know. I <sighs> I really need to know. Did you ask him what his new password was or confront him about that? I did. And, you know, he gave me the runaround and, and said that I was acting crazy, you know, like he normally does when something goes wrong. And he's trying to cover it up. So pretty okay. much I know what's going on now. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Do you have kids? Yes. We have a daughter in college already. So it's just us at home now. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Hold on one second. We're going to call him next, all right? Okay. So we have Whitney from Norwalk on the phone, married 23 years. And she thinks her husband is cheating because he's on the phone. He changed his password. He's walking out of the room. He's in the bathroom for 15 minutes on the phone. Mm-hmm. So she she's actually sure he's cheating. So Whitney, Sisney is going to offer him some roses. We're going to try and find out who he sends them to. Who he's thinking about. Who is top of mind. All right. Then we'll find out what kind of emotion and what words he puts on the card. And then we'll yeah. tell him he's on the air. So stay with us and don't say anything until we tell him he's on the air. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. And as you say, Ryan, you have my permission to call. And then whatever his name is on Kiss FM. Ryan, you have my permission to call on Kiss FM. Here we go. Good luck. Hi, is this Leon? Yes, it is. Hi, Leon. My name is Wendy. I'm calling from My Pretty Petal. We're actually a brand new flower shop in the area. How are you doing this morning? Oh, I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. So the reason I'm calling is because we're offering a chance for local residents. That's you to send free flowers to anybody that you'd like today. Really? Yeah, it's kind of just a Valentine's Day promotion that we're doing, and we just hope that you spread the word about our flower shop, and then hopefully we gain your business. But I don't need any money, any credit card info, anything from you right now. Wow, that is like perfect timing. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. I'm definitely interested. Well, then, okay, give me the name of the person you want to send the flowers to. That's from my wife, Whitney. Okay, cute. And what would you like to put on the card? Uh, just, uh, you could say, uh, happy Valentine's Day to the man that loves you so much. Happy Valentine's Day from the man that loves you so much. Wow, this is great. But I lost my job and money tight, and uh, all this is perfect timing. Thank you so much. Aww. Very Babe, welcome. why didn't you tell me? Leon, your it voice was- is being broadcast on the radio. It's Ryan Seacrest. You're on KISS FM, and we've got your wife, Whitney, on the phone. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, uh, happy Valentine's Day. How are you, Babe, bud? Did- <laughs> all right, I'm doing okay. Well, so, uh, Leon, reason we're calling is because your wife was suspect of some activity with you on your cell phone you, you changed your password and she feels like you've been on your phone out of the room a lot and she was just curious and wondering what that was all about could you tell her oh uh, well i guess the cat's out of the bag now it's about a month ago babe i, I, I lost my job oh why didn't and, you tell me i didn't realize you lost your job like, look, I, mean, there's a, there's a, yeah, there, I mean there's a chance that i could get it back and it's just to kind of Waiting to see, you know, they did see these, these crazy layoffs, but it's like. 
wait, 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 Leon, wait, Leon, wait. So you said you lost your job a month ago. Well, if you don't have a job, where are you now? Um, out looking for a job. Okay, but what about all the nights you were working late? Where were you then? Well, well, well I mean, you know, I've been, you know, let's, 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 we're on the radio. Let's talk about this when I get home. I'm, I'm, I'm on my way home right now. Let's talk about it when I get home. What do you mean when we get home? We're on the phone right now, and I need to know where you've been all those times. Yeah, we, we can talk about it when I get home. I, I love you, baby. It's Valentine's Day. I love you. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, I don't care about Valentine's Day. If you haven't had a job... Yeah, but come on, come on. Let's not fight right now. Where have you been, Leon? Out looking for a job. Out looking trying not to... Job not, for not, try, not trying not to have you worry. Okay, let's talk about it when I get home. Okay, I let you. I'll see you soon. Oh, my God. Hello? Leon? He hung up. He's hung up. Oh, uh, my God. Well, Whitney, hold on. That took a turn because, uh, you know, it sounds like your husband did lose his job and maybe he's out on the hunt and wanted to have a solution before he told you about it. Yeah, but you don't make things up for a month and telling me that you're leaving every day, working late. I mean, every night you're working late and on the weekends and staying long and you don't even have a job. Like, mm-hmm. where were you that whole time? I, I guess you should talk to him when he gets home. I don't know what to say to you. Other than you'll be able to tell if he's telling the truth, I think, when you look yeah. him in the eye. But I feel for bad sure. that he's been out there trying to hustle another job. But I also feel bad for you that he was keeping this from you for a whole month and possibly more. All right. Good good luck, Whitney. And thank you very much for reaching out to us. Thank you. All right. You take care. Bye-bye. Oh, no. All right, let's just go back to this Ryan's Roses for a second. If you missed it, um, we had Leon on the phone. We called Leon. His wife of 23 years thought he was talking to another woman and cheating on her. And he sent the roses to Whitney, his wife. Yes. He was relieved that he was getting free roses because he, he revealed that he has lost his job and he's been out looking for work. Out yeah. looking for a job. Out looking trying not to, job not, for not, not, years. Try- not trying not to have you worry. Okay, let's talk about it when I get home. Okay, I left. And then, so. and then he hung up, and she kept saying, "But where have you been all these nights? When for a month, when you said you've been going to work? Maybe he's telling the truth, and this is why he has to talk to her when he gets home because maybe he is about to get this job, and he's not supposed to speak about it, or maybe it's not confirmed yet. So for a so month, he-, he was saying that he's going to work, and you think every night that he was away, he was looking for a job." Maybe, maybe there's something in the works and he just can't publicly talk about it. So that's why he's like, can we please get off the radio? Because I can't, I don't want to talk about this. It's publicly. plausible. I believe him. I believe him. I think that he was trying to fix it all mm-hmm. before his wife knew about it so that yeah. he could deliver. I just think he was out trying to figure it out. I don't think he was cheating. I, and I, I don't, because when he originally sent the flowers to his wife and was so relieved and so sounding like in love for Valentine's Day. Yes. I just believed it and he got me. He won me there. Yeah. And you want to protect the ones you love. He wants to just protect her. I don't love that he lied to her the whole month. Well, I think he was embarrassed. Like, I have to be honest with you. I might do the same thing. Really? Yeah. Like, I don't think I'd want to admit that I didn't have the job. Like, I think I'd want to be out there and I'd want to hustle to, like, prove I could get another one or, or... or keep it. Mm-hmm. I understand his thinking. Mm-hmm. I, he wants to solve the problem before she knows about the problem. Maybe a week. For the good of them. Maybe the a month. And then what, how do you explain changing your password, though? He didn't explain that, did he? No, he didn't. She needs to ask about that when he gets home. So I'm going to mm-hmm. believe Leon. It's Valentine's Day. All right, sure. let's have a little hope. For the sake of love. All right, let, Cupid would appreciate this. Yeah. Known as Tubbs. <laughs> Saint Valentine. Ooh, Saint should we Tubbs. dress up Tubbs in like a little oh, Cupid outfit? Wouldn't that be cute? Did you bring it? Let's put him on the streets. No, Did you bring in the... your bow and your arrow? <laughs> no, no, it's being repaired right now. Tubbs, <laughs> draw back your bow <laughs> and, and let, let your, your arrow, arrow flow. flow. Are you letting your arrow flow? <laughs> oh, anyway. Wait, Tubbs, what are well, your plans no, tonight? Let, let's let's hold off <laughs> on Tubbs' plan. <laughs> um, he's got to engineer the show for a couple hours still.